Hi, this uh, video is to show you how to factory default your uh, Panasonic Advanced Hybrid System KX TA308. This procedure will default your phone system back to factory defaults. Uh, first thing we do is we turn the power off and unplug it. Second thing is to uh, remove the screw at the top here. Or not remove it, you actually just loosen it. Then this allows you to pop the lid off using these two finger presses, uh, which reveals the uh, card inside, of course. And then on the top left-hand corner, there is a screw, which I've already loosened to make it easier for me during the video. I remove that screw. Another screw here. Remove this one. Okay, then this lid should now flip open. And it's a little difficult to do one-handed, but flips it open. It's got some hinges here. This reveals the motherboard. Now on the motherboard, on the right hand side here, you'll see that there is a switch and a momentary switch. Okay, so what we do is, in this little switch here, I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not, um, the, forward, the top position, or to the, moving the switch to the top of the phone system, is the clear memory reset. So when you switch that up, okay, I've switched it up, in the up position, um, then I'm going to plug the phone system back in again. I'm going to turn the power on, so I've got my finger on the power button, but I want to show you the LED on the top right hand side, what happens. Switch the phone system on, the LED starts flashing, stops for a second, and then it goes into a slow flash. Okay, while it's in this slow flash position, move that um, clear memory reset key back into memory retention mode. The LED goes on solid, hit your reset key, and now the phone system is completely factory defaulted. Um, if you want to, I generally do this because I want to make sure it's really defaulted, I'll switch the phone system off again. I'll put the switch back up in the memory clear reset position, switch the phone system back on, wait for the LED to start flashing. Once it goes into the slow flash position, I hit the reset key, which is almost like turning the power off and then back on again, but it's a different kind of reset. Then I'll switch the switch back down to the memory retention, and then I also hit the reset key again. The system is well and truly back to system defaults.